Hi everyone, I am Ofa Langa and welcome you all in grammar in detail. If you are new and not subscribed the channel, so please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get some more video. Today we have started a new journey of our topic that is known as parts of speech. And before starting this, we will have some basic activities we will discuss. You know, we will start it from alphabet and that is what we are going to start our journey from here. You know, before starting alphabet, we will just little bit discuss about some important points and then we will start about our topic. Alphabet is what you know all about. The definition for alphabet is basic unit of any language is called alphabet. Now, what is, you know, alphabet, you know, grammar, as I have discussed in my previous lectures, I've given about grammar having four kinds, syntax, orthography, etymology, prosody and phonology. And we are discussing about a grammar topic that is known as about the, you know, today's topic, which we will discuss that is known as uh, the uh, syntax. The first kind of grammar is known as syntax. Now, what is syntax? Here we deal with the construction of words. You know, what is construction of the world? If we will have a one uh, example, clear. So, I will give you one example out of uh, the topic that we will discuss and then we will go for the topic. You know, you have seen brick. By brick, uh, the brick is the first unit by which you make a wall and brick is the combination of atoms see many atoms when you collect together they make a brick combination of bricks then make what that makes a wall combination of walls make what a room combination of rooms make a house and combination of houses make a street combination of streets make a town Combination of towns make what? A city. Combination of cities make a what? Province or a state. Combination of provinces make a country. Proven uh, combination of countries make what? A, uh, that's a world. Combination of world make uh, that, you know, combination of uh, countries like make a continent like asia africa and combination of continents make a world combination of worlds make a solar system combination of solar system makes a you know milky way combination of milky ways make a galaxy combination of galaxy galaxies make a universe and combination of universe makes what that God knows better you know what that makes so this is what you know it starts from the basic unit atom and goes to universe and after that what uh, it makes that is just in the knowledge of the God and that is all about you know construction see you started it from making from bricks and then wall and then so on going on and then it reaches at the end to a universe so this is all you know syntax syntax means here we deal with the construction you build up so you know what is alphabet then basic unit of any language is called alphabet see whatever the languages we have there are a lot of languages almost some 60,000 languages in the world is spoken. So these all are made with the help of, you know, the basic unit that is alphabet. Now, in uh, different languages, we have got uh, different alphabets, you know, like in Russian, we have got some 33 alphabets. In Portuguese, I guess some 75, 70 plus, there are some, I forgot the exact number. And in English, we have got some 26 alphabets. And in Urdu, we have got some 38 to 37 alphabets. So this is what, you know, these are the basic unit of any language. I'm not just talking about English, but about all the languages. So the basic unit of any language is called alphabet. Now, see, 
if you find any sort of word that will be the combination of alphabet so what is all alphabet about it is the basic unit of any language is known as alphabet now see this is the definition for alphabet that you know the basic unit of any language is called what alphabet hope you got this one and we will go towards the next one and that is known as the next one that is word now what is the definition of word definition of word is combination of alphabets is called word as i told you the basic unit of any language is called alphabet and then then uh, the combination of words make uh, the combination of alphabets make a word suppose you know you have got some alphabets like uh, in english we have got 26 suppose these this is your mind and you have got the 26 alphabets so by this you make then the words so you know you by one alphabet you can make a word like i a uh, it is a chair or i am a teacher so this is what combination of one alphabet you can make with the combination of two words uh, two alphabets one word like m in at we on so this is what combination of two alphabets also make a word combination of three words can also make a word suppose i say act fly try and so on there are a lot of words and combination of four wo words like f o u r four it is the combination of four alphabets so systematic arrangement of the alphabets make what words like four in the same way star and in the same way s t a r t star combination of five alphabets combination of, these are the combination of four alphabets these are the combination of two these are the combination of uh, one and these are the combination of three you can have it more than that like i say teacher combination of seven alphabets in the same way congratulations congratulations this is what combination of 15 alphabets so you know it starts from 1 to 15 and there are some words in biology there is a word specific word in english that is of 32 alphabets the word i forgot but there are there are some 32 alphabets by which you make one word so this is called the definition of you know alphabet that uh, basic unit of any language is called alphabet and then what is word combination of alphabets may uh, is called word after that now this is all sign text which we are talking about see i told you our journey starts from you know atom and then it goes to universe so same is example with the language it starts from alphabet and then so on word next we have got before this uh, we will discuss it and that is known as you know the next one is called the speech now see basic unit of any language is called alphabet combination of alphabets make a word now what is the speech combination of words is called a speech you know whatever the words we have now see by the alphabets we made the words and with the help of words we make the speech and see what is the speech actually actually combination of words and your speech can be short can be long can be stressable can be question mark can be negative can be emphatic can be optative can be exclamatory so this is all about your speech you know now what is the speech actually we will discuss it here you know a speech is what combination of words systematic arrangement of alphabets make words systematic arrangement of words make then speech and our topic is parts of speech now slowly and gradually we are going towards uh, to towards our topic now see what is the speech combination of words is called speech now see words i have for example in your mind there are some words you know suppose i say i is there you is there in is there m is there r is there student is there teacher is there i is there now these are the suppose words in your mind you say that you know i will i want to arrange them in a systematic way and i will i i want to make a sentence or a speech so uh, this is what we are going to make first i will take for example a word like from here i pick up that is suppose my mind i've got a lot of words but for you to make you understand you need to just have it in your mind and then discuss it suppose i take the first word i say i and then for i i will select another word that is m and then i say you know a uh, after that i use the next word that is teacher so i say i am a 
teacher to join this with another speech then i use and and then i say you and and then you for you we use are you are and then again ah you are a student so this is what it is a speech i am a teacher and you are a student so this is speech ends here so this is what you know combination of words is called what speech now this is the combination of words a chain of word that you arrange together and made it one speech now speech is what i said i everyone i'm of alango this is a speech if you are not subscribed the channel subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so this is a speech hope you are fine that is a speech what is your name that is a speech will you come tomorrow have you learned grammar this is what all is about speech so this is all about construction we have started it from alphabet and then we went towards word and then speech see uh, these these actually i why i taught, taught you these three definitions because next we are going to discuss that is parts of speech so for that you need to understand alphabet word and then speech suppose i give you another example i say you know uh, what actually syntax i draw for you people you know in syntax like you know we started from alphabet and then after alphabet we have got word after word we have got then speech and we are learning parts of speech so we are in the center of our topic this one we are going to discuss now see combination of speech then makes three things you know one is called you know sentence one is called clause and one is called phrase sentence clause and phrase now they all are when combined they make what a paragraph and then combination of paragraph makes an essay and then combination of essays make novel or you can say drama so on so this is what you know we are in the middle of our topic this one we are talking about speech so for that you need to understand the speech and for that we need to understand that how many kinds of parts of speech are there you know speech has got how many parts and then how they work has so for that we need to discuss the parts of speech so hope you got this one now we will discuss the next one now after that we have got parts of speech now see speech we have discussed they are the same topic keep in your mind this one speech and this one are the same but we will discuss the parts of speech that you know what are the parts for the speech so for that we will go let's look towards the topic see definition of speech is what the word divided into different kinds according to condition these different kind of words are called parts of speech now see the word is divided into different kinds suppose you know uh, i i'll give you an example over here i say the word divided into different kinds see i've got a word over here i and then i have got am a teacher and he is a student so this is what this is these words are divided into different kinds every word has got its function every word has got its value every word has got its character in a sentence so for that you need to know about them clear so see the word is divided into different kinds according to condition these different kind of words are called parts of speech according to conditions means according to usage according to usage these different kind of words are called parts of speech now you know this is a speech and these are the parts of your speech this is one part this is the second this is the third this is the fourth this is the fifth this is the sixth seventh eighth and ninth so these are the parts for your speech for example you know first one we have got that i've circled that is called you know pronoun that is called pronoun and what is pronoun now parts of it is a part of speech and that is first one that is pronoun which is introduced by p and that is known as pronoun what is pronoun pronoun is a word which is used to avoid or stop the repetition of noun now i say wafa is a teacher instead of my name i will say i am a teacher now i'm not repeating my name over here and that is what i'm telling that you know i am a teacher now after that we have got verb 
now the sex uh, the next parts of speech we have got that is known as the uh, m what is m m is here a verb and verb has got a definition that a verb is a word which shows an action state condition possession presence absence of a person place or a thing verb is not only name of an action or a state but condition possession presence absence of a person place or a thing now see over there it is showing the state i am a teacher you know i am given which status state i am given that is i am what a teacher and after that we have got a ah, that is known as article and article uh, we have used over there that is indefinite article a ah, with teacher and uh, an umbrella like we say then we will be using and articles are total three but they've got a lot of usages we will be discussing them in sequence in parts of speech i say i am a teacher now i is what article what is article which is used before a common noun just to, uh, to modify one singular noun that is known as i'm say saying i'm a teacher i'm talking that i'm a teacher a common teacher like we are talking about and teacher is what teacher is name of a profession so we are saying the name of so it is name of a person what is that grammatically noun see m is a verb r i is article and teacher is what noun and after that what is noun name of a person place or a thing it is name of a person in this sentence and which is written in blue and is what and is a conjunction what is conjunction which joins two words sentences clauses phrases it joins two words i say i and you it is joining two words it can join two phrases like take it or leave it it can join two clauses if you work out you will pass the exam and last it can join two sentences like i am a teacher you are a student or he is a student after that we have got again e e is called pronoun which is used in the place of a uh, person uh, masculine i say ahmed is my friend he is a student so see this is called e and is is again verb showing uh, is uh, e and status of e that what e is a student and a is again article and student is name of a person so that is called your noun so see each word has got its function in a sentence that is known as what parts of speech i has got its function i told you word is verb what is article what is noun what is conjunction this is all we have discussed in the first sentence next we have got that we are going to discuss and that is all about you know the second sentence now we have got the next sentence you are an intelligent person you is again what a pronoun that is a pronoun you know which is introduced by word p uh, and r is again verb n n is the article which is used before a word which starts with uh vowel that is a i o u when we'll start articles uh, then you will understand where we are going to use them but here we are just uh, putting a glance in the definition of the each word uh, uh, each parts of speech now we have got that is introduced by the word a r t and after that we have got intelligent now intelligent is what an adjective this is your word which has got its own function in a sentence that is known as adjective what an adjective is an adjective is a word which adds something in the meaning of noun and pronoun see i you are a person but which sort of person you are you are an intelligent person intelligent is adding something in the meaning of noun over here and if you remove the noun definitely you know then we will discuss what is it called attributive position predi predicative positions these we will discuss later on in a sequence now if you remove this one then definitely article will also be removed then i will say you are intelligent if i say you are intelligent there there it is adding something in the meaning of pronoun you so or there it is adding something in the meaning of pronoun and if i say you are an intelligent person then it is adding something in the meaning of noun so it adds something in the meaning of noun person or pronoun you what to describe quality quantity color size shape temperature goodness badness etc that is called what adjective and when you remove the uh, uh, pro, uh, noun from here then it will be called you know uh, this is called the attributive position when it is having a pronoun and when you remo remove the pronoun uh, no noun means the, the person then it, it will add something in the meaning of 
uh, pronoun then it, it will be called the predicated position so positions of adjectives we will discuss as we started the adjective so see adjective is what which adds something in the meaning of noun and pronoun to describe quality quantity color size shape temperature etc now last we have got again person that is known as noun which is introduced by the word n so hope you got this one so next we are going to discuss the third sentence we will just put a glance on the third sentence that is known as ahmed is playing cricket nicely now we have got another word in green that is known as adverb and what is adverb we will discuss it ahmed is what name of a person that is called a noun is is your verb and that is your helping verb in verb it is called helping verb and which is adding something in the meaning of action verb and telling you the tense whether this action is in progress in past present or future if i say ahmed was playing cricket nicely that is in past ahmed is playing cricket that is present progressive and if i say ahmed will be play playing that is called future future continuous or future progressive and verb here again it is verb uh, it is called action verb known as showing an action and here it is called hv means helping verb verb and now we have got cricket cricket is name of a sport and very famous in pakistan that is your noun again ahmed is your noun and last this one we are going to discuss that is called an adverb what an adverb is see an adverb is a word which adds something in the meaning of verb adjective or another adverb now over there this adverb is adding something in the meaning of verb telling you the method or way of an action that ahmed is playing cricket but how then here it is known as nicely that is called you know uh, the um, uh, adverb which is adding something in the meaning of verb playing uh, playing verb and telling you the method or way of an action and it can add something in the meaning of uh, adjective like e is so fast now so is adding something in the meaning of fast and fast is something uh, adding something in the meaning of pronoun so this is your adjective fast and so is your uh adverb which is adding something in the meaning of uh fast and telling the degree so this is called adverb of degree we will be discussing them but time being you know just try to understand the definitions we are not going in that much detail we are just learning the definition of parts of speech that each word has got its function in a sentence and that we are talking about and how it adds something in the meaning of uh, another adverb like i say you speak so quickly now see he speaks so quickly and over here quickly is your adverb so is your adverb and speak is your verb he is your pronoun now see quickly is adding something in the meaning of speak a verb and this so is working as an adverb of degree adding something in the meaning of quickly so he is speaking so he speaks so quickly that is called an adverb is a word which adds something in the meaning of verb adjective or another adverb hope you got this one last sentence we will be discussing this is what you know very hard to explain them and these can come when you have got a sort of expression then you can use them otherwise it is quite hard we need to practice but they need a lot of uh, practice without practice or without any expression you cannot do them hurrah they went to dubai you know this is what interjection hurrah this is an interjection and what is an interjection an interjection is the word which expresses sudden and strong feeling of three things sudden and strong feeling of joy sorrow and wonder so this is all about three and we will discuss them in detail when we will arrive in interjections now see it is strong and sudden feeling of joy hurrah they went to dubai you know this is what you're expressing your ways and thoughts that you're quite happy that you know someone is going to dubai yes and that is what hurrah is an interjection which is showing a sudden and strong feeling of what uh happiness in the same way for sorrow allah she passed away this is what you know a sadness allah they got an accident 
that is for sorrow there are a lot of words but just i'm giving you one example for each in order to con clear your concept and for wonder wow what a great personality wow what an excellent shot wow these are used a lot in sports like in cricket or in football so that we will be discussing as we will arrive here so this is what you know conjunction interject uh, interjection after that they is your pronoun and interjection is introduced by the word int they by p and verb went is your verb to is your preposition this is again a new one and that is preposition what is preposition preposition is a word which comes before uh, a noun or pronoun to complete its meaning says they tell direct uh, direction condition sometimes they tell time so this is what they are used in different categories we will be discussing them and then we will go towards the next topic clear and dubai is again name of a place that is called your noun so this is all about your parts of speech you know and uh, each word add its own function i explained them one by one so see i have colored them i have used over here nine colors in order to make you that there are nine parts of speech which we are going to discuss now see here we have got their symbols their symbols are as followed you know uh, noun which whatever we have written in blue now see in this color they are over here they all are your noun what is noun name of a person whatever we have in blue that is quite easy to remember them these are your nouns and pronoun that is uh, introduced by the word p and whatever you have got in light pink you could say that is your pronoun like i e you they these are called your pronouns after that we have got adjective adjective is introduced by this word adj and that is adjective not adjective adjective and adjective we have got in uh, purple color and that is only one we have used and after that verb verb is all we have written in red am are is playing went is these are your verbs after that adverb we have got in green and that is what nicely whatever we have in black that is known as your conjunction like and we have got joining two sentences interjection is in uh, you know orange color that is showing sudden and strong feeling of joy and preposition that is written in you know white and that is what pre is the word to introduce them and after that we have got art in yellow means the article and we have got time being three articles a a and n there is the that we have not written here now see whatever i have circled these are your parts of speech each parts of speech has got its own function in a sentence and performing their role and characters and we will start it uh, in next slide we will discuss hope you got this definition of parts of speech what parts of speech is this is all about you know parts of speech we have got these parts of speech parts of speech are total how many nine some of the grammarians say eight some of them they say nine but i agree with the one who says nine because r n and the are definitely the part 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 of the speech you know so this is what we will call them parts of speech so see parts of speech we discussed that the word divided into different kinds like different kinds are what noun pronoun adjective verb adverb conjunction interjection preposition article according to usage these different kind of words are called parts of speech according to usage what is noun name of a person place or a thing what is pronoun pronoun is a word which is used in the place of noun and uh, in the place of noun what is an adjective which adds something in the meaning of noun and pronoun what is verb verb is a word which shows an action state condition possession presence absence of a person place or a thing what is an adverb an adverb is a word which adds something in the meaning of verb adjective or another adverb what is conjunction which is, uh, conjunction is a word which join two words two sentences two clauses and two phrases interjection a word which uh, gr or group of words which show sudden and strong feeling of joy uh sorrow or happy uh, that uh, wonder and preposition a word which comes before a noun or pronoun to complete its meaning article which come before noun uh, noun and pronoun to make them definite or indefinite means the proper or the common they are called the articles so keep in your mind parts of speech are as like chain that is what i have made the chain 
the first chain I've made that is parse of speech. And then if you know noun, you will be able to understand pronoun. And if you understand pronoun, then you will be able to understand adjective. If you understand noun, pronoun, pronoun, adjective, then you will be able to understand verb. And if you understand noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, then you will be able to understand adverb. And if you know noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, then you will be able to understand conjunction. And if you know uh, noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, conjunction, then you will be able to understand interjection. And if you know all of them, then you will be able to understand preposition. And if you know all of the nines, then you will be understand. You will be able to understand the ninth one that is known as article and so this is what our chain like if you break one of the chains the chain won't be clear and complete hope you got today's lecture wish you best of luck see you next time with next lecture goodbye